Here's a few things about Pro Tools to get you started. One of the things you might want to check first of all is that all of your equipment is hooked in together and uh, Pro Tools is seeing it. Pro Tools usually won't actually turn on unless uh, the audio interface that you're using is detected by your computer first. So do obviously make sure you've plugged in your audio interface first and that might be an Mbox uh, made uh, by DigiDesign if you're using Pro Tools LE or it might be an M-Audio interface if you're using M-Powered. Here's a place you should go to when you're first running Pro Tools, maybe even before you actually start running uh, or creating music. Go to the Setup tab in Pro Tools and you'll see various things, including the word I.O. That is where you can just check that Pro Tools is seeing your input device, your audio interface, and there's an Input tab and an Output tab. Also in the setup window is a very important screen called Playback Engine. And this is where you can control how Pro Tools records audio and uh, the stream of audio going into your computer. So settings like the hardware buffer size will make a big difference. And also what's called the DAE Playback Buffer, buffer the, digital, the DigiDesign Audio Engine Playback Buffer. And if you're not sure what settings to have it on, just leave it on the default setting, which is level 2. There are other settings, and uh, these will make a difference, actually, if you ever find that the playback is glitchy or the um, uh, performance of Pro Tools is uh, not working as smoothly as you'd like. The hardware buffer size will make a big difference to perhaps making it smaller on occasions. So those kind of setup things are quite important before you get started.